Ozempic or Manjaro? Both are powerful therapies, but are there differences? And which one is right for you? We, we know that both drugs are incredibly effective when it comes to helping people with type 2 diabetes manage their blood sugars, lose weight, reduce heart attacks and strokes, help protect the kidneys, and the benefits just keep growing. But is one better or different from the other? Well, today we're gonna put them head to head and compare and contrast the differences to help you decide which one might be best for you. I'm Dr. Steve Edelman. I'm Dr. Jeremy Pettis. And we are taking control of your diabetes. All right, Steve, so what are we doing here today? Well, we're putting Ozempic and Manjaro head to head in this kind of friendly competition to see what drug might kind of win in these different categories that people care about. You know, we're talking about A1C, weight. We'll go through these different categories and each time give one of these drugs the coveted Steve and Jeremy sticker to who kind of wins that category. Now, before we jump into them, there's three important caveats. First, these aren't exactly the same drug. Now, Zempic works just on the GLP-1 kind of side of things. Uh, Manjaro is a GLP-1 and GIP uh, activator, so it's kind of two different hormones. So it's not quite apples to apples. Two, second caveat, they're confusing names. So we're going to talk about Ozempic and Manjaro, but if you take Ozempic for weight loss, it's called Wegovi. If you take Manjaro for weight loss, it's called Zepbound. So we got Manjaro Zepbound versus Ozempic Wegovi. Three, that Ozempic's been around longer. So there's, there's had longer time to have studies and a little bit more data. So those are the important caveats. With that in mind, let's get into it. Okay. We are taking control of your diabetes. So diabetes is important. A1C, who wins in that category? Well, the coveted Jeremy and Steve sticker goes to Manjaro. And why is that, Steve? Well, they've had head to head studies, although they weren't totally equivalent doses, Manjaro showed a significantly better A1C reduction. Mm -hmm. And both of these drugs have profound reductions in A1C, but yes, Manjaro slightly edges out uh, Ozempic when it comes to A1C reduction. Now, category two, second thing probably most on people's mind, weight loss. Which one causes more weight loss? Well, in that same study, although the doses were different, Manjaro led to a greater weight loss than Ozempic, but we should say that both drugs studied independently lead to tremendous weight loss, 20% of your body weight. Absolutely, so that sticker again goes to Manjaro. So category three, all right, so we talked about some of these positive things. What about side effects, things that we want to avoid? And when we talk about these drugs, the first thing that comes to mind are these GI side effects. People can get nauseous, they feel really full, they have an aversion to food, might even vomit. So who kind of wins in reducing side effects? Well, we think that both of these actually are similar in terms of their risk of side effects as long as you start you know, the, the, the appropriate low dose and titrate slowly, people generally tolerate these very well. Yeah, and I think in clinical experience, it's nausea in the beginning, titrate slowly, and you don't need to go to the highest dose to get the desired effect. That's yeah, important. That know. is important. So kid, uh, category four, because we've got a lot of winners for Manjaro, so Ozempic is coming to the party now because we're talking about kidney protection. Which one has data there? And the sticker goes to Ozempic. Why is that? Because they did a dedicated study called the FLOW study and people with type 2 diabetes with some underlying kidney disease uh, that taking Ozempic slowed the progression of kidney disease, which is so important. Kidney disease is one of these silent killers for many years, but it leads to dialysis or transplantation. So it's extremely important mm -hmm. complication to address. So here's one, if you have kidney disease, you might be leaning that way, for example. Category five, heart protection. The people that have already had a heart attack or some kind of cardiac issue, can these drugs help prevent another one? And the sticker in this category goes to Ozempic again, because they, again, have you know data in this category where people with type two diabetes with known cardiovascular disease, Ozempic helps prevent other events, another heart attack, another stroke. And guess what? None of us want those things. So we think Manjaro will have this data eventually, but right now Ozempic is the one that kind of gets the sticker. They get a pre-sticker. <laughs> so <laughs> category six, um, this is a new one. So what about sleep apnea? Well, Manjaro gets this sticker, and why? Well, they just had a publication where they actually studied people with sleep apnea, gave them Manjaro, and guess what? When people took this drug, their incidence of sleep apnea went way down. 
We think this is mostly because of the weight loss, but it's just nice to know that there's an actual indication that if you have moderate to severe sleep apnea, even if you don't have diabetes, this is a drug that you can now get approved for that reason. Yeah, and sleep apnea is not just snoring. It indicates insulin resistance, goes along with the whole metabolic syndrome of type 2 diabetes, so it's mm -hmm. important. Now, category seven, dosing, titration, how easy is it to take? Well, Steve and I kind of slightly disagree, I suppose, on this one. So we give them stickers to both. So why do you think Manjaro is easier to take? Well, Manjaro comes in preset pens. It's an auto injector. You never see the needle. You just throw it out in a recycle container or your neighbor's garbage can. Just kidding. Yeah. And I picked Ozempic because you can kind of titrate your own dose if you want. So be very specific. The one milligram pen is like 86 clicks to get to one milligram. Well, you can take 45 clicks or 52. That'll take five minutes. So you can take like <laughs> in between doses that might help, especially if you're having issues with side effects. All right, so the next category, category eight, our eighth and final category. Can you use this in type one diabetes, either of these medications? And well, both of these drugs win and lose. Why do they win? Because these drugs absolutely work in people with type one. We wanna lose weight. We wanna have our hearts you know, still pumping and our kidneys doing their thing. But they lose because the companies haven't studied them specifically in type one, so they're not approved, which means type ones can't get these drugs yet. But Lilly has recently announced that they're moving forward with clinical trials specifically in type one diabetes. So it's very likely in the coming years that these drugs will finally be approved for us type ones. If you're a type one and your BMI is over 27 and you're heavy, you could get Wegovi or Zepbound approved with the indication of obesity don't ever mention the word diabetes on the form. That's, that's totally legal. So there you have it. There is our sticker you know, situation of Zepbake and Manjaro. But what's the take home? Both of these are fantastic drugs and actually might be more similar than different, to be honest. The key is find one that works for you. It's covered by your insurance and please stay on it. Guess what? If you stop taking these drugs, you lose all the positive effects, weight can come back, all those kinds of things. So please stay on these medications. Yeah, these drugs have changed the way we treat type two diabetes. So we wanna hear from you. Have you taken either of these drugs? What have your experiences been like? Have you wanted to try them but haven't been able to? Please let us know in the comments below. So in closing, as you know, there really isn't, there isn't a winner here, Steve, or one that's yeah. simply just better than the other. But rather, both drugs have been shown to be highly effective, and which one is going to be the best for you really has to do with what your individual health goals, or is it you know lowering A1C that's the most important to you, losing weight, or protecting your heart and kidneys. We hope that comparing these drugs today will help you make a better, more informed decision when discussing this with your healthcare provider. And we hope you found this helpful and valuable. And remember that you can live a long, healthy, and happy life with diabetes. And we'll see you on the next video.